tonight, Chattanooga takes another step towards a sense of normalcy. One of the community's homegrown soccer teams playing its first match since the city shut down during this pandemic. Good evening, I'm Abby Kirk. And I'm Dave Staley. Thanks for joining us. The Chattanooga Football Club, CFC, lacing up the old cleats, hitting the pitch like they would for any game, but this time in front, a different crowd, largely an empty stadium. In other words, no crowd. Here we got Isaiah. Yeah. Isaiah Something. Kim Martinez joins us for still on in the stadium behind me in a game and a moment that was really a breath of fresh air for the community here. CFC got a win today, the ultimate goal of any sport, right? But right now for fans, for players at this time, they're just happy to see a game even being played, even though some of the biggest parts of the game are left out. The players, hydration breaks during the matches, the coaches, and sheer competition. <laughs> Chattanooga's own soccer players put on a show in their first game in months. But the match was missing a huge component. CFC fans were largely sitting at home watching on their TVs. The majority of the stands at Finley Stadium empty. We've been through playing college level and, and everybody been through doing, doing those things and we don't have a lot of people watching those games. It was kind of like a college game. The players are used to these experiences being louder. They said it felt like practice. There were some cheers though. <laughs> A few exceptions were made for family of board members who did their best to fill the void. Masks were worn and social distancing was a requirement from group to group. You be wearing your masks at all times if you're in the stadium. You know, we wish it could be 20,000 sitting in here, but unfortunately we're not um, there yet. So just got to take what we have and, uh, you know, just work with it and just keep building each week. Ultimately for the team, this is a step in the right direction. And for fans, a taste of what they hope they'll get to see in person sooner rather than later. And you could see some of those players and some of that footage when they were on the bench, when the coaches were on the bench, even some of the officials, if they weren't actually in game action, they were asked and required to wear masks. You saw many of them doing uh, just that in that video. Very weird for sports, not used to what you're seeing when it comes to these athletes. They were also given breaks throughout the night, uh, water breaks uh, for potential heat, obviously, that they had to deal with today and going forward. It's been a while since they've been out at these games and the officials made adjustments for that.